Well, Aaron, the accused killers are now headed to trial after the couple waived their right to a preliminary hearing. A surprise court hearing Thursday morning in which accused child killers Tammy Huntsman and her 18-year-old boyfriend Gonzalo Curiel waived their right to a preliminary hearing. That hearing is held in which prosecutors present evidence in an effort to convince a judge there's probable cause to put the couple on trial for the murders of a three-year-old girl and her six-year-old brother who were in Huntsman's care. We would have had about eight to nine police officers coming in from all over the county. The, the state to testify about their investigation. There would certainly be a graphic representation in this kind of a case about what happened, that's for sure. Graphic and gruesome details the defense may not have wanted to go public. Prosecution says the only reason the defendants gave for waiving the preliminary hearing was it is in their best interest. That means the case goes straight to trial, but it won't be anytime soon. Trial date is set for February 2017. It was the best we could do with everyone's schedules, and the trial is looking to be a two-month-long trial, um, potentially, and finding space in everyone's calendars for two months, um, the best we could do was February, and it's not great. Another issue came up Thursday morning, this one involving the potential death penalty for Huntsman if she's convicted. The judge gave the prosecution until August 17th to decide whether they plan to pursue the ultimate punishment. Prosecution said that's a decision for District Attorney Dean Flippo and his team of managers. Who will be presented all the facts. We are allowing uh, Ms. Huntsman's attorney to present their case on why we shouldn't seek the death penalty and uh, the Death Penalty Review Committee will make the ultimate decision on, on where we're going with this. Now, Gonzalo Curiel doesn't uh, face a similar fate. Uh, he does not face the death penalty because he was a minor at the time of the alleged crimes. He faces life in prison without the possibility of parole if convicted. And again, a trial date has been set for February 6th of next year. Aaron. Felix, thank you. Both defendants are being held under very tight security on a no-bail hold.